My name is Adam Franco and I am going to be showing a pie chart generator and all the algorithms with it. So the first part of the script is where a sprite asks you for the values, which will be later on shown in the pie chart. So um, first, a pen, a sprite, tells the pen to enter the first value. And then if the answer is a number, to carry on with the other um, values. And as you can see at the bottom, it says, add answer to pi values and then add answer to pi values too. We use two lists because um, one of the lists, you use it to create the segments and the other, you use it to split up the um, segments with a black line. Um, so this doesn't do any drawing yet. It just asks you for the values. And the next bit is drawing the circle, which um, it draws the circle as two semicircles joined together. And then if there's only at the bottom, it says if the length of pi values is one, just fill the circle because um, obviously a pie chart with one value is just a filled circle. And um, if not, then it should draw out the next segments of the pie chart. And this is over here. So it repeats until the length of pi values is zero because each time it draws a segment, it um, takes away, it deletes the value from the list. That's why we have two lists. Um, so the values don't get deleted from the second one. Um, at the top, it says turn clockwise 360 divided by sum of pi values divided by the first item of pi values, which draws the size of the segment in degrees, but um, not filled yet. And um, then it turns anti-clockwise, the same amount, just half of that divided by two. Then um, it moves three quarters of the way to the center because there's a variable for the radius. And um, then it fills it and then it goes to the center and waits 0.25 seconds. Um, and then it's got turn clockwise 360 divided by sum of pi values divided by item one of pi values. Um, and this just carries on until you have, until all of the pi values have been um, used up. And that's why it says at the top repeat until length of pi values is zero and then puts the pen up and goes to start. So then it sets the pen color to black, which um, it sets it to black because you can't change the hue of black, it's just one color. Then it draws two semicircles. This is in a warp block, which means that um, it just does it instantly. It doesn't do the individual steps because then it will take a long time. And then um, repeat, then goes to the center, sets pen size to half because we need it to be small and thin. And um, it repeats until the length of pi values is two, is zero. And this is the other list because um, we have already deleted all of the values from the first one. And then it basically does the exact same, um, just warped and with um, um, the, the values from added the same values, it just in another list. And then it also deletes them. And at the start, it says that, yeah, you can just add, um, 
new new values in so it doesn't keep the same values from the previous user that's used it and then at the bottom it's got an else block which is basically from the start of the if block uh, from the if else block and that basically just um the pen tells a sprite to say that to tell the user that the value wasn't a number so it cannot generate the pie charts um a how the pie chart will look like is like this this is with different values and um it changes the hue by 18 each segment because if it's less then it's um just the colors are too similar if you have too much of um the segments and um over here you've got in the script uh somewhere at the start it was yeah um here uh at the bottom it says change pen hue by 18 because it will look too similar and um Yeah, that's really it for the pie chart generator. So thank you for listening.